Welcome back here by the next episode of Breath of Fire 4. In the last episode, we uh, cracked into Urshan's brain space and found out she was hot, and then we freed her. And then she went into the body of a little girl, or boy, I'm not actually sure what it is, and it's kind of a bitch? Maybe not a bitch, maybe just trying to enjoy life, but I'm curious, why is it different um, in this body than it is, you know, in the robot that we can see right there. So let's go and see what she's doing, because she said she wanted food. Oh man, I hope everyone's doing well. I hope everyone is healthy. I'm not at the moment. I'm still having a lot of troubles breathing. You'll probably hear me uh, stopping to, you know, things like yawn and, you know, taking really deep breaths. But you know what? I I miss this. And so I want to make sure to get it, get it in. So I hope you all are enjoying this. And, um... Let's see what's going on. Did the food meet your satisfaction, Ashen? Look, you wanted to talk to a god, right? If you ask me, this comes with the territory. Every god needs an offering or two, right? Very well, then. Now, will you tell us about Ryu and Ashen? Alright. Ryu and I are not human. We're endless. This is also is the voice I've decided to put on the little girl. Now, who here knows what that means? How about you, little birdie? Do you know? Um, well, that means you were summoned here, and you're what other people call dragons or gods, right? Well, I'll be. You do know. Not bad, my little chickadee. You're being real disrespectful, Urshan. We are called, summoned from another from other worlds, and brought here. But do you know why we're called? Well, do you, kitty? Alright then, imagine the world as a giant ship. What happens to the ship if there's no wind? Oh, the ship can't move. Very good. Maybe there's hope for you yet. Anyway, we're like the wind. We move the world. Now, imagine what we, you could do if you could control that wind as you pleased, hmm? Oh, else, damn, that's a whole animal right there. <laughs> that's why we have kept this village's location and what we know a secret. For the ability to summon the endless fall into the wrong hands, it would be disastrous. Whoever can control the dragons can control the world. Which is why I need to know. Who betrayed our secret? Who summoned you, the two of you? Uh, I like that it actually pushed the bottle. That's really cool. <laughs> nice little details, you know? We were summoned by the Fow Empire. The Empire knows the spell of evocation? Not exactly. The Empire has come up with its own method of summoning. That's how Ryu and I got here, but it's not perfect. They brought us here, but we were incomplete. I wasn't able to manifest completely and got stuck in that armor. And for Ryu, he was split into two by his summoning. Bum, bum, bum. We are one with Faulu. For a second, I thought that lady was a snake lady, but that's just a bag next to her. It's like it's Faulu time? Or are we just going to do it again for like five seconds? Oh my gosh, I can control him. So cool. Nice music, though. So I've got to remember to not loot stuff. Because, um... Yeah. One of the walls on Mammy's house there got a mighty big crack in it. Better tell her so she can get it fixed some winter. Can I see the crack? <gasps> Whoa! Oh, I, I can't go in there? Oh, I thought that would be a location to go to. Maybe later. Maybe later. That would make sense that it's a thing. And that's why they pointed out. Everyone here works hard for a living. Not like them young folks in the cities. Hey. Don't be a talking to me right now. I be counting these beans. Counting them beans. I do that all the time. I go to little Miss Pants and little Bob Young and go one bean, two beans, three beans four beans five beans and I kiss the toes and then I get the other paw and go one bean two bean 
three beans, four beans, five beans, and I kiss the toes. I don't do that with our back feet because we don't cut those nails. I don't like fishing on a sunny afternoon, eh? Oh, I love fishing. Um. I know you. My mom says you're the fella that's shacking up with mommy. What's shacking up mean anyway? Oh, they think we're boning. They think we're banging. They think we're tin tang tanging. I don't know what that means. Huh? No, that'd be an odd question to ask. This here'd be Sony Village, capital. Capital? Oh, that, that'd be far off to the east end, friend. Okay. Oh. Oh, hey, hi. Hey, you're the fellow that Mammy's been uh, taking care of, ain't ya? Yes. Who are ya? Where'd you come from, eh? We don't take kindly to strangers here. Ryong. Ryong. Ryong? Isn't that the last name of the dragons? Young Ryong. Mammy, what you be doing in this here? I thought I told you to stay in the house for the nest. You should not be walking about like this. I said it be my cousin. His name is Ryong. He was at Kyung, uh, Kyon and got hurt, see? He came back here and I've been taking care of him. He'll be staying with me till he's better. Oh, I'm the cousin. Gotcha. I mean, I'm not, but you know, she's saying it. He, uh, he, he got hit on the head and... So if he asks anything funny questions, just be nice and answer him, okay? Smart lady. Pretty, too. Come on, Ryong. Let's go. Oh, does she know... Does she know who I am? She named me Ryong. Does she know I'm a dragon? Oh, boy. I didn't mean for the landlord uh, to find out about you. The landlord? Huh. There will be repercussions. Well... It'll probably be fine. As long as we keep pretending you be my cousin. You should be worrying more about yourself than me. Y your wound ain't fully healed yet. You shouldn't be walking around in the first place. <laughs> okay, another short scene. Split into two? What does that mean? You mean there's another Ryu out there somewhere? Is he in the Empire? Yes. But Ryu and his other half aren't separated only by distance. They're separated by time as well. By time? Are you saying that Ryu's other half is... No. No. Yes. Ryu's other half, the other god, is the first emperor of the Fao Empire. Fao Lu. Yums. Oh god, we're just going back and forth, aren't we? Telling you my cousin was the first thing I thought of. But you really be. Never mind. Forget that I asked. Once upon a time, a long, long time ago, there came to this earth a god named Fao Lu. Many were the nations of the world then, and they dissed make terrible war upon each other. The people of those lands prayed to Faolu that he might create for them a world at peace, a world with no war. God, the detail. You got to hear the sound of that, uh, like, teak pot touching down. Faolu heard their plea and gathered together the nations, and thus did he forge them into an empire, and thus did Faolu become the first emperor. But then, after having used his powers to achieve this feat, he fell into a deep slumber, for Faolu was not complete, not whole. However, even as he dreamed, Faolu realized a terrible truth. Even were he complete, he was not be able to fulfill all the people's desires. Indeed, and why not? Well, people are... Um... I'm sorry. Are you just a simple farmer? I don't ken what you be saying, but... Uh oh but I kind of stand to see you look it's so sad. You're not going to touch his, butt, his nuts, are you? Oh, 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 maybe they are shacking up. Oh. 
Oh. Oh, he just got his penis touched. Mmm, matron. How you feeling, buddy? Feeling good? I acknowledge the hole in the wall? No? Okay. You uh, still counting beans? Yep, still counting beans. Um, so we try to leave? I talk to you? No. Okay. Uh, anything in this pot, Bar barrel, whatever? Ooh, hey, low a person. Well, let's get a different angle. There we go. Eh. If you be looking for the mountain, this be the path that you want to take? Uh, maybe not yet. Ryong! Whoa, that guy's eating a lot. Where to be heading off to? You shouldn't be up. Not yet. I must journey to the capital, to Chido. What thou wise, woman, thou wast have nothing more to do with me. Thou wast not involve thyself in mine affairs. But... But I didn't want to be... Involving myself with you, I wouldn't have helped you in the first place. Or let you his penis into her vagina. You know they banged. Arr. Sounds like a monster. Let's go help. If we can catch the monster, I'll make sure he pays for what you've done to us. What? It's back! The animals around here are gonna get violent lately. First, it was just going after the crops, but now they're attacking us too. Attacking us too. I didn't get that inflection right. Um, let's go help. We'll just turn into a dragon. Probably. Um, well, even if there is an item, I don't want to pick it up. Uh, what's down here? Uh, an item. Can I even get there? No, not yet. Okay. I wonder if I have to headbutt it with Urshan. Oh, they're so cute. Um, oh, hi, sir. You want to hang out? Okay. What are you? Uh, Papan. This giant mutant boar possesses superhuman strength. Well, I possess super. Oh, yeah, right. Oh, what can I build for? Let's find out. Stolen apple. Okay. Okay. Stone pillar. Let's do it. Uh oh. My tool's not working. My. Oh, man. My, uh. Things not working. My, uh. What's it called? Uh, hot key, so I can't mute to cough. It sucks. I think that's why. Okay, got it. Also, right, he is water related. Sir, sir, that was rude. I can. Uh, let's try Erasure. Uh, damage changes with remaining health and defense. Is that like, like, is it higher health does more damage? But I don't know. Wow. Oh, that looks good. Oh, yes. Dragon form. Wait, pass? I can pass? Okay, that's actually... Oh, my cheesecake. It's actually really cool that we can pass because we have seen that before. And that is something I wish every game would do when it comes to um, long animation sequences. Okay, not bad damage. Not bad damage. Body press. Can I get a counter? What do I do on a regular attack? <laughs> Better. Oh, did I win? What? Oh, it, it reverted. So once you beat it up, it reverts to its form? 
10,000 experience and a fruit of wisdom. Cool. It's like, I'm outsy. To appear this is n this not be a monster, but in truth a normal beast of the field. I hope this is the result of our exposure to the powerful ore of the endless. Hmm. Perhaps. Mayhaps. June hat. I don't know. Leave me alone, guys. I've been sick for like a week. I'm getting weird. Er, weirder. You killed that thing. You're the fellow that Mammy's been taking care of, ain't you? I heard you still tied up in the bed and all hurt. But looks like you're better now, eh? I gotta get the, the voice back. Whatever it is. But young, is you alright? Let me guess. Oh, I thought he was gonna take a knee and be like, Ugh, my spleen. Are we back to Ryu now? Music we... Yep. <laughs> She's awake. The armors? Is she back in the armor? But even if Ryu's other half is the first emperor. He's dead, right? I mean, it's been centuries. Not necessarily. If he also is one of the endless, he would not die easily. And certainly not simply by the passing of years. Oi, so, where can we go find him? I have to say oi to be able to do the Yangus voice. That's basically how it works. Even if she knew, Urshan has been asleep ever since she finished eating. Doesn't that beat all? That kid's turning out to be more trouble than, it than I thought. Maybe more than he's worth. Pray? I don't think of Ryu as trouble or anything like that. Ryu is very special. Aw, oh, shucks, Nina. And we've got, and we've just got caught up with him. That's all. I don't know how to explain it very well, but the reason I'm here with Ryu now is she likes me because I want to be. That's all. Not oh, shucks. Well, no matter what, we need to find out more about what's going on, and the only way to do that is to talk to Russian some more. Let's go. She should be awake by now. I should have talked to the old lady. Urshan, wake up, please. Looks like she ain't getting up for nothing. Well, there is a way to wake her, but... Calling? Forcing a god awake is not the safest thing to do. For she to wake up in a bad mood, the results could be unpleasant for us. She can be woken the same way you freed her. Simply travel into her dreams and wake her from there. Again? You want to try? I guess. Very well, then. As before, lay your hand on her and close your eyes. Okay, I guess we're going in again. Geronimo! I guess we'll fight the same things and stuff. That yeah, looks the same to me. I have the hiccups. Wait, it's different. I guess her mind could be pretty big. Ooh, piece of candy? Knockout gas. All right. Peaceful as heck music, though. I'll tell you that for nothing. For absolutely nothing. What the hell? Gulpers. Knows many spells, but doesn't seem to have enough AP for them. Okay. Okay. I love how, like, their hands uh, have, like, a white aura. Also, oh god, that's creepy. Oh, they're taking my AP with dicks. But their hands have a white aura that kind of, like, is still there. As they move around. God, he's so fast. Just so fast. Where's Dan Shout? Counter? Yes. This looks good when he counters. 500 experience points. And, um. Nope. Nope. I really.
really do like how the maps are in this game. Manly clothes. Those can be really good. They they help you uh, uh, live through death. And I think that's really cool. And uh, sure, Nina can do some damage. This isn't like Breath of Fire 3. People are Nina's actually pretty physically powerful. Take that back. Wow, you could have cast Blizzard. That is quite literally terrifying. Love this music. Another 500, Cray. Aw, oh, so close, Cray. So close. By the way, I hope my more subdued approach to commentary in this last couple episodes is okay. Like I said, I'm just not feeling well. I um I can't breathe as well, so talking can be tough. Um, but I just really want to record. I, I miss it. I, I really miss it when I don't. Ha 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 ha! Oh gosh, this is pretty. Hi, Bob's. Sometimes oats just brings the Bob's over to me and makes me happy. Oh my God, Urshan has summoned shirtless men to attend to her in her mind. Drat. I was just having a good dream, and you have to show up. You humans have the worst manners, but I'm an endless of good. Uh, I'm sorry, Urshan. There's um something we wanted to ask you. Uh, let me guess. Oh, mighty goddess. Tell us what we should do. Am I right? Huh. That's always the way, isn't it? It is. That's always the way it is, isn't it? Can't figure out. Can't figure it out for yourselves, so you can pester us. I... sorry. Oh, wow, she's taller than Ryu. Well, I guess she's on a, a stair, so I don't know. What's up with this world, anyways? I've never heard of the world where they needed to summon gods in the first place. I mean, why can't you handle your own problems yourselves? Why do you have to drag us all the way here to do it for you? I guess there's no use complaining about it. What's done is done. Oh, it's not that we don't know how you feel. It's just that we're kind of at a loss as to what we should do, you know? I bet you are. I guess I would be too, what with two incomplete gods following you around. Understand this, my stripened friend. What happens to you? What happens to you is tied up with what happens to your little friend Ryu there. Ryu is the missing half of the Emperor. He is meant to become one with the Emperor and use his power for the Empire's benefit. If the Empire manages to control a god, it'll mean another war. We can't let them have that kind of power. What will it be? What will be, will be. Still, if part of the Empire Emperor is in Ryu, that means that part of Ryu is in the Emperor. The two halves will mean that destiny cannot be changed. However, if Ryu is as strong as the Emperor, then... If he's as strong as the Emperor, you mean he might be able to stop the Emperor from doing what he wants? Something like that, little birdie. But... What do we have to do to make Ryu stronger? Oh gosh, no back. I can't get over how attractive she is. It's just like, wow. Don't worry, there's a way. For that, though, I'll need to wake up. Grab a brush and put on a little makeup. That means you have to get out that here. That means you have to get out of here. I can't wake up as long as you're in my dreams. Okay, can we talk to these people? Oh my god, he's got a sparkling smile. This world revolves around D. What? Is she Dees? Oh, Dees, you're so beautiful like a guy. She is, oh my god. We're so happy to be given this chance to serve Dias. God. What? We all look alike, you say? That's because this is the kind of man Dias likes. I knew it! I called it! It was the hair! Urshan? No, 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 no. That's Dias. <gasps> oh, I can't believe Dias is Urshan. That's so cool! Since this is a dream, we can pose like this as long as we want and not get tired. Since she is, was trapped for so long, Deesa's kind of letting herself go in her dreams. Yeah, I can tell. 
Tia's is so beautiful. She's like something out of a dream. Come to think of it, so am I. Ha <laughs> ha. <laughs> I'm better looking than you, and I've got more muscles. Shut up. I'm a god, at least. Go on, get out of here. Unless, of course, you want to stay in my dreams. I mean, yeah. You freaking deus. So if you don't know, just like Ryu and Nina are in every Breath of Fire game, so is Deus. Now, for me, she's normally a snake woman. I believe in, it might be, it's either Breath of Fire 1 or 2, she's a playable character. Lower half is a snake kind of thing, and she's a really great mage. In Breath of Fire 3, if you watch my Let's Play, you'll remember that she is a, uh, a master. And quite a good one for magic. She teaches you the strong things, I think like Inferno and Blizzard, stuff like that. So you find her um, in the temple that like Gar takes you to in his homeland. Uh, she's this, she's that naked lady trapped in a pyramid, and then you, she goes into snake form. But yeah, she's like super connected. She's actually the sister of. Okay, I'm not gonna say if you haven't watched my Breath of Fire three Let's Play yet, and you haven't played the game yourself, go watch it and learn who Dees is in that game. And again, they're not the same person. Like, this is a different universe, different iteration. But it's just so cool that she's in this game, too. I was really hoping, really hoping that they wouldn't abandon her. HP, ooh, 5 defense and power. Heck yeah. And 3 agility. It's not too bad. Not too bad. Yeah, I was thinking she was Deese. So, huh. Feels good to be right. I'm not right in this kind of guessing game often. Usually I'm wrong. Just one of you, eh? I need to change my... Well, I won't... Ch Ooh, so ch nope. I will wait to change my combat party lineup until Urshan gets back in the party. Assuming it's going to happen. Um, because... It'll, it'll just change it on me, I'm sure. Oh, gosh, that is so cool. Urshan is Deus. Oh, why did she go with the name Urshan, then? I wonder where that is. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Maybe the I mean, will she acknowledge being Dees? Dees, Dice, I don't know how to say her name. I say Dees. D is typically, so. You might hear different iterations depending on how my brain goes. Yawn. I could have used a little more sleep, and I guess there's work to be done. Well then, shall we go? What did I just tell you? You're going to need help if you want to go through with this. There's a shrine around here to use the sum you used to summon the endless, right? What? Oh, oh yes, the Yurei Shrine. I mean, I'm the Yurei Dragon, so let's go to the Yurei Shrine. It makes sense, right? Okay, Ryu, that's where we're going. We have to call the other dra the other dragons. Dragons were once gods, just like us. You could say we're distant cousins. They're not anymore. We'll call them and ask them to help you out. Does this mean that you'll help Ryu as well, Urshan? I suppose so. It's not like I've got anything better to do. By the way, you can keep calling me Urshan if you want. My real name is Dees. Oh, she does acknowledge it. I fucking love it. Ah. Oh. Okay, so I'm going to differentiate. Urshan is going to be the robot. And Dees is going to be the sexy lady inside the robot. Yes. Urshan is what that armor called me. I think it means master in the language of the Empire. Oh. Anyway, we need to be getting to the Array Shrine. Can I have Urshan back in the party, though? Please? No? The Array Shrine is to the mountains to the west of here. I don't have access to my full power in this body. I'll need you to protect... Just Let's go into the, the thing. The thing. Let's go into the thing. Ah. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, this seems like a great place to stop. I hope you've enjoyed it. I love that we now know who Urshan really, really is. And I can't wait to see what these dragons are going to do to help us out. But that is for another episode. Do take care. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. But until next time, bye-bye for now.